you see I'm a masterpiece I'm bored and free and daring Hi guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to do the cutouts I did in the lyric video masterpiece. So here I've got two video clips, one of me and like my cousin and a friend dancing and also uh, Summer who's just kind of twirling with her umbrella. Excuse the uh, randomness. Uh, this is one of my travel videos. So I'm just gonna do like maybe me going crazy here. Um, so I just basically take a screenshot. Right, so from here, I just want to grab a few frames that I'm leaning forward still. So I'll save that photo. So I'll call that Dance 01. Now I'm just trying to grab the points where it's most extreme and also some in between. So once you've got your uh, frames, then we're going to drag that into After Effects. Right, then I'm going to create a new composition. Just 1080 by 1080 should be fine. Frame rate 24. And then I'm going to drag all my images down here. Right, so the next step is to cut me out. <laughs> so I'm going to zoom in and just grab the pen tool and just make rough and rough outline. So now you can do it really precisely, making sure you get those curves and edges and stuff. But for, uh, for Summer's video, I didn't really stress too much about it because it was just more of like a, you know, um, inspirational wall or, uh, collage really so uh, being it being a collage it I felt like it didn't really need to be perfect so you know just imagining um, someone cutting out uh, some images uh, for inspiration and sometimes it's just not that perfect I don't know <laughs> or maybe I'm just not really much of a perfect maybe I'm just not really much of a perfectionist so Okay, then we're gonna hide that. We're just gonna keep going and I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, and I just want to point out, uh, selecting this photo, you can see a little gap here. So uh, you're still using the pen tool. I'll just kind of cut out the shape. And then I'll have to twirl down inside to the masks. And then under the second mask, I will just put subtract. And there you have it. Just toggle the view all on. And then we're just going to place this all kind of in the middle. Uh, cut it at four frames. And then we're going to make sure we select one. Hold shift down to six. And then right click. Keyframe assist and sequence layers. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm just constantly forever looping, uh, jumping backwards, but I think I just wanna um, maybe refine that loop by just um, jumping back and forward. Okay, so once you're happy with the uh, dance or your gestures, then just select one first and go to Effects and Presets, Q, and just desaturate it. Then I'm gonna find the levels, maybe pump up the contrast, and then we're gonna add a drop shadow to complete the kind of um, cutout effect. So, I'm just gonna pick a really vibrant color, maybe like bright yellow. And then can't quite see it right now. So uh, I'm just gonna maybe pump the distance up to 15 and change opacity to 100. So something like that. You can just play around with the direction. Could be going this way or whatever way you want. 
select all of these attributes, copy and paste. Yeah, if you're too lazy to screenshot everything from outside and then transfer it back into After Effects, you could just uh, drag and drop the video. So let me show you another way. I'm gonna grab the footage of Summer. So I'm just gonna duplicate this layer and rename that as Umbrella. Double click into that, just delete everything and uh, drag the umbrella here. I think I like this frame. Then I'm just gonna find another frame to uh, cut from. So maybe there. So Control Shift D, Control Shift D. Now I've just got only four frames. And so I'm gonna just put it all together and because it's a video, it's gonna be moving, right? So I'm just going to right click, time, and freeze frame, right? So now it just shouldn't move. So we're just gonna, we're gonna put all of them for a duration of four frames. We're gonna use the pen tool again, zoom in, and just cut somewhere out. I'm just going to click the beginning frame, hold shift, the last one, right click, um, keyframe assist and sequence layers. I want Summer to bring back her umbrella upwards. So I'm just gonna copy the rest of the frames, duplicate them. Okay, right, so N, and then we're going to just have a look. Maybe this time I'll just keep Summer as colored I'll still just make her look a bit more contrasty. And then I'm just gonna do a drop shadow. So now I think I, I want to give it some texture. So I'm just gonna find a paper texture. All right, so I've just imported a white paper texture. So I'm just going to place it on top and then overlay it. I'm just gonna hit this Preserve underlying transparency. So then it would just show here. So now that I've got uh, two looping cutouts, I'm just gonna place it nicely into a, a main comp. Okay, so I'm gonna go layer, new, solid, add a new camera, a new light, toggle switch, and Make this a 3D layer. Okay, then I'm gonna just drag both of my looping cutouts. So in order to keep them continuously looping, um, first we're gonna have to go back here and we're going to right click and trim comp to work area. And we're gonna do the same for the looping dance. Okay, so now these two have been shortened and then I'm gonna right click time, enable time remapping, uh, hit the keyframe here, a uh, frame, just one frame before the last, delete that, alt click the stopwatch and then we're going to go to property and loop out. Okay, so there's the tutorial and I uh, hope you guys learned something or enjoyed it. Yeah, so go and check out uh, Summer's uh, lyric video. The link is somewhere around here. 